What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Disgaea 7. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to defeat the first Carnage Ball stage pretty much as soon as you unlock Land of Carnage. You really don't need a lot for this. I know he's got 10 billion health and he's completely stat capped. However, you seriously can actually do this stage as soon as you get to Land of Carnage. You don't even need any specific gear. So, let's talk about it, shall we? First of all, you are going to need 10 million stats from the juice bar. This is incredibly easy to get. All you need to do is abuse the hospital gotcha system and getting 10 million is very, very easy. Secondly, you need to master the class proficiency of 10 characters. So you need to master all classes on 10 characters, reincarnate them, and then level them up in the Overlord Guard Squad. So they get an extra 10 million stats. That will take you to 20 million. That is actually all you need stat wise so now let's talk about evil teas firstly we are going to use two killers and eight buffers in this strategy now if you have a property on your weapon called swing about then this will be infinitely infinitely easier if not don't worry about it it will still be possible it just means you will have to use owl as one of your killers for the extra damage now Let's go over the evilties of our support units first, shall we? And let's do a female character just because. Okay, so when it comes to uniques, you are going to need all unique slots unlocked. This means you need to pass the bill in the demon assembly for an extra unique evilty slot. You are going to need to defeat ball in normal mode for a unique slot. And the final third unique slot comes from defeating carnage stage 15. You need to do this with all 10 characters. Okay. So once you have all of the uniques unlocked, you want to throw on sweet aroma, cursed dance, and corpse sweet aroma is to heal everybody up curse dance is to increase the damage enemies take and corpse is for surviving bulls unique evilty and then we have a tactical guidance boost attack for adjacent ally units by 20 percent noble cause the boost abilities of allies on map by 10 percent magnificent cheer increases attacking power of male allies by 10 percent gender bender this is only on female characters on female characters we want to use gender bender to switch them to male then we have power aroma increase attack power by 100 percent for allies within two panels when the turn ends then we have prevention nullify status ailments for allies within two panels em barrier for survivability again for bulls oh uh, evilty still standing exactly the same reason and that is it for male characters we use the exact same evil tees. the only difference is we do not use gender bender and then for our killing characters we use assault Bla uh, assault attack group tactics and corpse for the uniques then we have vital strike for extra critical damage shame increases stats by five percent per male unit on the map gender bender to switch it to male king's dignity for 65 percent extra damage weapon researcher which increases attack power by five percent per ally with the same weapon type so that's why you want every character to have a sword equipped Deadly Footwear, which reduces movement by one, but does increase damage dealt by 20%. Opportunities for a little bit more damage. EM Barrier for survivability. And still standing for more survivability. These evil tees are the same on my War Lady and on Ow. Now, in terms of equipment, okay, the only thing we need is movement. So just regular Vernia Thrusters and a sword on characters. On our killing characters, pretty much the same, just Vernia Thrusters and so on and so forth. If you need a little bit more in terms of stats, do your movement first, and then before you attack, change over to something like a Trapezodon. Now, with that said, let's jump into the stage, shall we? So again, this is going to be for the first Carnage Ball Sage. We're going to load up Heavenly Thunderstrike. Now, we can do this one of two ways. It all depends on how strong you are. First things first, bring out all units at the same time. Okay, that's actually a little important. Bring them all out at the same time. Now, if you are not that strong, 
Okay, one of the things you can do is you can actually go ahead and jumbofy your units. Another thing you can do if you are a little bit stronger is you can actually just do normal attacks. Now, I have not built a tower or anything like that, so we're not going to do that just yet. However, if we really wanted to, we should be able to build a tower. Let me just do uh, my angel. So we're going to use Valkyrie order on our really quick. And then, with that, okay, we're going to put Purika at the bottom of a tower. And then we're just going to stack everybody on top of her, okay? The only difference is we're also not going to stack in the Maiko or my War Lady. So, we will lose a little bit of stats there. However, I'm going to move my Maiko up and put her behind my Owl character. And then, once again, we're going to carry on with the stacking, Okay, now we've got the tower made. So we're going to throw Suisun up there as well for the extra accuracy and critical. So now if I do an attack, as you can see, we are still missing a bit of damage. So if I was to attack that really, really quickly there, as you can see, we did not kill it. This method only really works if you have swing about properties on your equipment. So let's go ahead and retry the stage there. See me, uh, same evil tees, by the way, regardless of the strategy you use. If you do not have swing about, you want to jumbify your units. So at the start of the fight, use Valkyrie order on Al and then have her jumbofy. Make sure Al is in the jumbofy squad. And then likewise, do the exact same with a war lady. This way we get one extra attack from the war lady being jumboed and we double our damage from Al being jumboed. Then we want to stack everybody up apart from Suisun and our uh, Maiko. So, we're going to move Suisun and Maiko down really, really quickly to the bottom. Now, with Al, we're going to use her to attack Bull. And as you can see, we now one-shot him. Okay, so Bull is now one-shot. So, now we're going to use the Maiko and use Encouragement so Al can get another turn. Then, we're going to kill the next set of enemies. Now, we're going to move Suisun over to our War Lady, who is then going to do the exact same for these three. Once those three are dead, we're just going to end turn. And then it's just a case of getting our characters to kill the next set as well. One we'll actually survived that. That's fine. So we're just going to come back. And as you all saw, I still have no real equipment here. Still using just the Vernier Thrusters. And there we go. Stage one is now complete. You can do this pretty much as soon as you get to Land of Carnage. All you need is a base 20 million in stats. And of course, if you are lucky enough to get swing about on any gear, then feel free to use the first method as it will be a little bit faster. With that said though, everybody, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I really hope it has helped. If it has, please be sure to smash that like button and of course, drop a comment down below as it greatly helps out the channel. And if you want any more Disguise 7 guides, then down below in the description is my Disguise 7 playlist. There are tons and tons and tons of guides in there, so feel free to check them all out. And of course, if you have any questions that are not answered in any of my videos, then also down in the description is a link to our Discord server and that is also linked on my link tree as well along with all my other socials feel free to reach out to me on there with that said though everybody thanks for watching and i'll see you soon